Hey guys, this will be a video to collect Blanche's rain, so if you'd like to see how that's done, then please keep on watching. First off, you're going to want to head back to Westfall to Saldine's farm and pick up eight sacks of oats. I just hung around the barn area. They don't take too long to respawn. So once you have all eight, head back to Revendreth and pick up the rest of the items. Back in Darkhaven, you can pick up two of the items. That's where I am on the map. Head to Snicker's Knee. Boy! And don't tell the bosses we had this chat. So, grooming brush and empty water bucket. Which you can only fill from Bastion or Arden. This looks like a good spot. Should work. Yes! The bucket of water. Alright. There's another item that requires four horseshoes which you'll find scattered along the road so you may as well just follow this carriage and you'll see it sparkling on the roadside. I already have two so I just need two more and I'll get out and I see something sparkling. It won't be too long. Oh there's one there. Scarted horseshoe, that's what you're looking for. See it turns into a sturdy horseshoe. So one more. Here we go. That wasn't too bad. Next head to the night market, which is located right at the bottom of the map. Speak to this guy here. For you, I offer only the finest and purchase a comfortable saddle blanket. This week it requires 10 marrow root. The reagents tend to vary from week to week, so you can either check the auction house, try and farm some, or just come back another week. The last item I need is some apples, so I flew to the charred ramparts, which is right there on the map. You can buy the apples from this NPC here. They come in a stack of five, you only need three. And once you have all your items, here's where the fun begins. Mm, my master did say to serve everyone. This is actually the spot where Blanche can spawn. That's where I'm on the map, just below the old gate light path. So he can spawn anywhere between 60 to 120 minutes, so it's not too bad a camp, and it's only the one spot, so it's not like the alpaca in Voldemort. He hangs around for five minutes once he's stopped, so to stop him all you have to do is run in front of the NPC, and he emotes that he doesn't want to trample you over. Or just stand in the middle of the stream to stop his path, just in case you're alt-tabbing at the time. So you know you're getting close to him despawning when he emotes four minutes later. And then just before he actually does despawn, which is the five minute mark, he'll emote one last time. Okay, this is exciting. Day six, how about some juicy apples? Yes!
Oh yeah. Hope you enjoyed the guide, thanks for watching and I'll see you for the next video. Here we go! Oh shit! I thought he just ran up and down the strip. <laughs>